Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Unlocker. We're going to look at a few things here. It's ad-supported. It is not, at the time I did this video, Windows 10 was not supported. We're going to test it under Windows 10. Spoiler alert, it works. And we're going to give you a little warning here so you don't have any problems. Basically, this program will unlock files that are somehow locked. You can't access them or delete them. A little bit more for advanced users. You don't want to start randomly deleting and unlocking files in Windows that are locked for good reason to protect your operating system. As you install it, you will get the Delta Toolbar offer. Click Advanced. Click where it says, or uncheck, Install Delta Toolbar. Hit Next. I would not bother with this because it hasn't been updated in three years, so you don't really want this thing checking for updates every day or every week. The Explorer extension, I don't think anybody needs that. That would be under your right click. It would add an extension here, uh, unless you're locking files all the time. So now the biggest thing with this program you need to know is it's not the most intuitive program going. It works excellent. It's one of the best unlockers out there, but it can be a little bit finicky. So I'll show you a little bit why. Once you get it started, it's not real clear on what it does. So let's go into, let's say, program files so you get a good understanding. Your best bet here would probably be to have Windows Explorer open parallel. But for now, we'll just show you how it works. You can get your process. You can get your path. Most of this stuff's going to be difficult to unlock because of Windows. But you could take, let's say, Runtime Broker. It was something you wanted to, you could kill the process. You could unlock it, or if you use your shift and arrow key, you could actually select a whole bunch of files. If you click kill process, it doesn't tell you what it did. So you have to assume that it killed the process. There is no right click option, so everything you need is down here. Whether it's kill the process, unlock, unlock all, or take an action which is usually delete when applicable, rename move or copy if you want to back it up. So I'm not going to do too much deleting in here. It's You can see it's pretty simple to use. However, let's say I have a file in a folder that I know I want to lock. Let's close it because once again, it has no real interface. It doesn't allow me to just go, hey, let's start looking again. And we'll go to the desktop. You see I have a sample video here in MKV format. We will go to my desktop. We will tell it that's the folder I want to look at, and it's going to see if there's any problems in there. As you can see, it says there are no problem here. There's no locking handle, but it can help you delete it. Now, as I showed you earlier, what you should get under your action is delete, rename, remove. You would add the same things you saw in the other one. If this file was locked, kill the process, that would take care of being able to unlock it, hopefully. So in this case, you can see we could just walk away or hit delete. Once again, it's a totally different simplified interface than it is when we're looking at a complete folder. So let's click OK, and as you can see, it's gone. Now, unlocker, once again, closed. Um, you have to start all over again, depending on what you want to do. Then I have these problems. This has happened in, I think I'm on take nine. This happened before, all of a sudden, everything's gone. So while it works in Windows 10, it's a little buggy. Whether it does this stuff in Windows 8 and all that, I don't know. But it's one of those programs that works so well that these little tiny bugs that you get are probably worth the hassle if you've got a locked file or folder. So I would be willing to bet you if I rebooted my operating system right here that this would come back and be just fine. So there you go. Program is totally free. Once again, watch out for the ad support. It's not too hard to avoid it. But if you've got an unlocked file folder, it'd be hard pressed to find another program that works as well. So give her a shot. Download link below. We really appreciate you watching our videos, and we really appreciate all the new subscribers. So if that's not you, click subscribe, and maybe you'll be able to see some other videos we can help you out with. Thanks again. See you next time.